We've all used them, some better than others, but have you ever thought of the history behind chopsticks? Many of us are familiar with the story of the knife and fork, but there's another set of utensils used by billions of people around the world, and it has a truly ancient past. Evidence of the first chopsticks were found in China sometime around 4,000 to 5,000 years ago. Then, in 500 AD the slender sticks had traveled through the Asian continent from Vietnam to Japan. As the population boom spread across China, there was greater need to conserve resources. In order to conserve fuel for cooking, food was cut into smaller pieces. This was less demanding on fuel consumption. And the perfect utensil for picking up smaller piece of food was the chopstick. The decline of the fork and knife in Asia, along with the increased popularity of the chopstick, can also be attributed to Confucius. Because he was a vegetarian, he believed strongly that sharp utensils at the dinner table would remind people of the slaughterhouses. Additionally, he held the notion that stabbing at food with a knife, evoked feeling of violence, and this wasn't conducive to the dinner table. As chopsticks spread throughout Asia, they took on many different characteristics. Chopsticks in Japan were 8 inches long for men, and 7 inches long for women. Interestingly enough, in 1878, Japan was the first nation to create the extremely popular disposable chopstick, these were made of bamboo or wood. Wealthy diners could eat with ivory, jade, coral or even brass. While the most privileged and wealthy, used silver chopsticks. It was believed that the silver would, corrode, and turn black if it came into contact with poisoned food. Chopsticks come in many different shapes and sizes, styles and designs. The Chinese use a longer style than other countries, with sets that come to a rounded or blunt end. Different from the Chinese, the Japanese use short, wooden sticks that come to a sharper pointy end, and the Koreans use shorter, metallic, wood or plastic sticks that are often blunt at the end. And, the Vietnamese also use longer sticks that also come to a blunted end as in China, often wooden, but can be made of plastic as well. Each time you use a chopstick, you are using around 50 different muscles and joints within your body including the fingers, wrist, arm and shoulders. Using those chopsticks to eat your takeout Chinese food might actually be good exercise. Studies have also shown that regular use of chopsticks can help to decrease the risks of osteoarthritis in the hand. The increase in popularity of Japanese, Chinese and other Asian dishes has meant that today, around a third of the world uses a chopstick every day which is nearly as many people as use a traditional knife and fork. Although the reasons why are unknown, there are people in the world who have a fear of chopsticks and this is called phobia. Out of all the chopsticks produced in Japan, 80% of them are made in the small city of 32,000 named Obama. But, unfortunately, this city has no connection to President Obama. Using chopsticks on a regular basis actually leads to better health and wellness. Here are a few of the many benefits to using chopsticks as your main eating utensil. Number 1. It's healthier. No matter how skilled you are in using chopsticks, they will force you to eat slower and take smaller bites. This will lead to a slower digestion which helps prevent chronic diseases like type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease and obesity. Number 2. It helps you lose weight. Aside from preventing serious diseases, Slower digestion also helps you lose weight. Regular eating utensils make it easy to overeat, we eat so fast without giving our brains time to process that we're already full. Chopsticks, on the other hand, help us pace ourselves with our meals. We eat smaller bites more slowly, giving our body the time to process the food and realize when we've had enough. Number 3, it helps you improve coordination. Even though using chopsticks may seem difficult at first, it's actually a really useful exercise for your brain and body. Using chopsticks forces your brain to work, thus improving your coordination. This can be especially beneficial for kids whose brains are still growing and developing. And it's also great for exercising your brain, just like solving crossword puzzles. Thank you for watching. We really hope you enjoyed learning about chopsticks. Please subscribe and for more interesting videos.